Good evening, everyone. This is Robert from RJL518, welcoming you unto another exciting edition of Inside Pitch. We're here at the Astrodome. This is Game 4 of the 1985 World Series between the New York Yankees and the Houston Astros. The Astros lead this series two games to one in a very interesting game from last night. A very exciting game it was until in the top of the ninth made it even more exciting. But the Yankees ultimately fell short. And now the Astros have a 2-1 lead in this series. A big chance for the Astros to win tonight and definitely have a chance to clinch a championship tomorrow night. However, if the Yankees win, we will definitely be heading back to the Bronx for a game six. So we got a real exciting game tonight. The fans here are excited. The Astros lead this series. Anything is possible tonight. And as so far, and my network has been amazing. So everyone here can buckle up and get ready for more baseball action. Michael Peterson joined me here, and then he split because he wanted to check game three. Not a problem. You can check the replay either way. What? Let's see what we got here. Starting pitcher for the Houston Astros tonight is Jeff Heathcock. Heathcock has a record of one win and no losses for the postseason. So everything will be ready. Let's see how he does. He actually does pretty well so far. He's been pitching well for the Astros. The only reason why he is the starter is because Phil ne uh, Joe Necro was traded to the Yankees late in 85. So that's why Heathcock is the fourth starter for the Astros. Let's get to playing some baseball here. Game four of this World Series. Can the Yankees tie it up? Or will the Astros have a chance to win it all tomorrow night? Top of the first. Leading off for the Yankees, center fielder Ricky Henderson. Henderson batting 362 for the postseason. We are all set and ready to go. Fans here at the Astrodome are excited. Game four, World Series. Let's get to it. 6 4 from Heathcock. That is a blank. Henderson will swing 4 2 against a righty. He grounds it right to second base. And the throw goes to first for out number one. One man down, and that will bring up the left fielder, Ken Griffey. Griffey batting 265 for the postseason. Heathcock ready to deal. And that's a 3-4. That is a blank. He's not tired. Griffey will swing 6-1, and he flies out to center. Two away, and the batter will be Donnie Baseball Mattingly. Mattingly batting 362 for the postseason. He is doing very well. Philip Reynolds joins us here at the Astrodome. Don't worry, Phil. Got plenty of time in your league. He's cocked with the pitch. 6-3, strikeout 7. That's too high. Astrodome subtracts only one from walks in the stadium. So that is not a strikeout. Mattingly will swing 6-6, six, six, and he flies out to center for the third out. A 1-2-3 inning for Heathcock. We go to the bottom of the first. Starting pitcher for the New York Yankees will be Ed Whitson. Whitson is 2-0 for the postseason. He has actually pitched pretty well for the Yankees, although a lot of people thought Whitson would be a tough fourth starter, but he has done the job. Leading off for the Astros, second baseman Bill Doran. Doran batting 293 now in the leadoff spot. He has definitely started. He has definitely started hitting a lot better since the start of the postseason. Whitson with the pitch, 3-3. Three, three. That's at the park. Astrodome says 3-1. Star one and a ground out to second base. One man down. That brings up the shortstop, Craig Reynolds. Reynolds batting 308 for the postseason for the Astros. Whitson will pitch, 2-4. Error on a throw. 
Reynolds will swing 3-4, and that's going to be a double into right field for Craig Reynolds. Reynolds continues to hit well for the Astros. No throwing errors. There's nobody on base, so Reynolds will hold at second with a one-out double. That brings up the first baseman, Denny Walling. Walling is batting 358 for the Astros in the postseason. One out. We will check to see if anything happening on the strat. Whitson has no pickoff chances, so he will not throw to second. But the throw will come to Walling at the plate. Whitson, 2-1. Range play at the park. Astrodome, 2-1. That's a star six. It's a fly ball to right field. But that ball is hit to Winfield. His range is a five. He will make the catch. And that is out number two. Reynolds' base running rating is a four. Uh, the only way he gets to third is, uh, is a one to four. A six, six, he is out. And a two, three, he will make it. So Reynolds will get to third on the deep fly ball. And that was a fly out to right. There are two outs now. And now here's Jose Cruz in center field. Cruz batting 204 for the Astros. He is their lowest hitter in the starting lineup. Two outs, rolling the strap. That's a 20, nothing happening for Whitson. He stays there. He will not deal with Reynolds. Whitson has said, has no pickoff rating. Whitson will pitch. That's a 2-4. Again, the error on a throw. Cruz will swing. 1-4. Base hit into center field. Single for Cruz. There will not be a throwing error as Reynolds will come in to score. Cruz will stay at first. And again, the Astros jump out to a 1-0 lead. Jose Cruz gets an RBI base hit. And now the right fielder, Jerry Mumphrey. Mumphrey batting 302 for the postseason. Two outs. Anything happening on the strat? 10 no. Cruz on it first. Already 1 0 Astros. Whitson will pitch. 1 1. That is a home run chance. Muffrey against a righty. That's a 15. That's an 8. And that is a kaboom. That ball is high. That ball is deep. It is hit deep to right field. It is gone. Home run, Jerry Mumphrey. Stadium cheers. EA. Jerry Mumphrey, a two-run jack. And again, the Astros now have a 3-0 lead in the first inning, and they and they took and they jumped out to a 3-0 lead last night. The Astros now lead 3-0 with two outs. And here's the left fielder, Kevin Bass. Bass is batting 370. Don't know, but I'm sure he'll catch a replay. Whitson will pitch. And that's a 4-6 error on a grounder. Bass will swing 3-3. Three, three. That's a ground ball back to Whitson. His error rating is a 20, and he plain drops it. Picks it up, but not in time. Bass is safe at first. E1. Bass hits it right back to Whitson, an error on a grounder, and Whitson's error rating is a 20, and he drops it. First error on the Yankees, and the Astros are really making the Yankees look not too good here in the first. So that is an error. And the next batter will be the catcher, Mark Bailey. Bailey batting 297 for the Astros. Well, people might be working as possible there, Phil. Bass on at first. There are two outs. I will check the strat. We'll see if the error hurts them. A 14, nothing happening. Whitson will pitch. 4-1. That's a range play. 
Bailey gets the swing, 4-2. That's a star three. It's a ground ball to third. The ball is hit to Andre Robertson. His range is a four. He will make it. He's got it. And he'll throw to first to get Bailey and end the inning. Three runs for the Astros on three hits and an error. And after one, Astros already leading three to nothing. Just like last night in the first inning when the Astros jumped out to a three nothing lead. I am showing six people watching the game. They may be they may just be driving. They may just be using me as a radio host, which is fine. We go to the top of the second. Leading off for the Yankees, right fielder Dave Winfield. Winfield batting 149 for the Yankees in the postseason. He is their he is their lowest hitter in the lineup. 3-0 Astros already here in Game 4 of this World Series. Heathcock, 6-4. That's a blank. Winfield will swing, 4-6. A line drive right to third, and Garner snags it out number one. That's the first out, and here's the third baseman, Andre Robertson. Robertson batting 391 for the Yankees. In the postseason, Heathcock, 2-4. That's a home run, question mark. Robertson, a righty, a 1-9, a 5 will pass. Against a right-hander, Robertson has a 6. A 1-6, Robertson hits this one out. Gone! High fly ball to center field, and that is going back, 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 back. Gone. Home run, Andre Robertson. He comes through with a blast. And you knew sooner or later he probably would. Andre Robertson, a solo shot to center. And it is now 3-1. to one. As Robertson gets the Yankees on the scoreboard. And that will bring up the catcher, Ron Hassey. Hassey batting 389 for the postseason. Well, Heathcock gives up a homer. Robertson does get it. Still one out here, top of the second. Heathcock's pitch, 3-1, possible error. Hassey will swing, 1-5. Pop up to the second baseman, and that is, that's Doran. His error rating is a 6. That's a 20. He'll make the catch out number 2. Two men down, and here's the second baseman, Willie Randolph. Randolph batting 209 for the Yankees in the postseason. Well, thank you very much there, Mr. Reynolds. I'm not as good as those guys. Of course, I don't have access to their information all the time. Heathcock will pitch to Randolph. That's a 2-4. Home run question mark again. Randolph, a 1-9. The 4 is clear. Randolph against the right, he needs a 3. A 1-3, to three, Randolph goes yard. He's got a 15% chance to hit this out. No, too high. But Randolph will swing. 2-4, and it's going to be a star six, and he does hit a deep fly ball to right field. But that's going to be caught by Mumphrey near the track, and the inning ends there. One run on one hit, a solo shot by Andre Robertson. We go to the bottom of inning number two. Leading off for the Astros, third baseman, Phil Garner. Garner right now is the leading hitter for the Astros. He's batting 381 for the postseason. Let's see if Whitson has a, has a better inning this time. Whitson, 4-4. Four, four. Walk, 17 is high. Garner will swing, 5-6. He flies out the left. That's out number one. And that does bring up the pitcher, Jeff Heathcock. He does not have his own hitting card, so we use the Houston's, uh, Houston average pitcher's card. Whitson will pitch. 6-2. 
and Heathcock a righty, and that's a strikeout chance that 18 will get him, and he struck out Heathcock. So two outs there. And now here's Bill Doran. Doran 0 for 1. Whitson will pitch. And it's a 2-6. Strikeout 6. Got him. Struck him out. Strikeout number 2 for Whitson. And he has a much better inning this time. It's three up and three down after two. Astros lead three to one. We go to the top of the third. Leading off for the Yankees is the shortstop, Bobby Meacham. Meacham is still the Yankee leading hitter, batting at 394 in the postseason. Heathcock will pitch to Meacham, and that's a 2-3, and that's a slip against the lefty switch. That's an automatic out. It's a star five, and it's going to be a fly out to center. That's out number one. That will bring up the pitcher, Ed Whitson. Whitson using my generic pitcher hitting card number four. Whitson's lifetime batting average was 125. Now, that's his lifetime average as a hitter because he did bat in the National League, was with the Padres and such. He did not have any at-bats at all in 1985 because of with the Yankees. In that case, what I do is I take a pitcher card that I've created here, and I go ahead and I go one. So his batting average is 125 lifetime. So I always round down and then choose the next, choose the batting card below it. So this is for a hitter that hits 111, mostly because he had no at-bats in 85. So I think this is a fair card to use for Ed Whitson. So we use his generic pitcher hitting card number four. And here's the pitch from Heathcock. And that's a 4-4. And against a right-hander, that is a strikeout chance. And then 18 will get him, struck him out. He does strike out Whitson. That's the first strikeout for Heathcock, and that is out number two. Two men down. Here's Ricky Henderson. Henderson 0 for 1. Well, at least I'm number two. <laughs> Heathcock will pitch to Henderson, and that's a 4-5. That's a range play. Henderson will swing 5-1, and against a righty, that's a fly ball to center field. That ball is hit to Cruz. His range is a three. He will make the catch with no problem at all. That's a one, and he is out. Another one, two, three inning for Heathcock. We go to the bottom of the third. Craig Reynolds leads off for the Astros. He is one for one. Hit a double his first time up. Bob's Tabletop Sports joins us here at the Astrodome. Whitson will pitch. And that's a 4-1 range play. Reynolds will swing. 1-2. It's a base hit to first base. But the ball is a range play. It's hit to Mattingly. Mattingly's range is a 2. He won't get it. That's going to be a base hit. Gets just under his glove. And Reynolds has a single. Reynolds is now two for two tonight. And here's Denny Walling. Walling 0 for 1. Infield is halfway. Checking on the strat. That's a two. Uh, hmm. Possible hit and run is available. Hit and run is available. You're up by two runs. Walling hits pretty well. But Reynolds, if he strikes out, though, Reynolds 10 minus 3 is a 7. He plus would be a 1 to 8 for Reynolds to steal if Walling happens to strike out. But with a 4 against righties, I'm you know what? Let's do the hit and run. That's a 1-4. That's a blank. Walling will swing. One, two, and that's a ground ball back to Whitson. Now that they turn the double play, 
Let's first find out what the main double play is. Double play rating three, four, five. Walling hitting from the left side, so the shortstop is pivot. Bobby Meacham plus one is a six, but it's a hit and run, so you subtract two from it. So a one to four, they still turn the double play. No, they do not. The base running rating for Reynolds goes from four to six because you add two to the base running rating. That's a five. Reynolds actually makes second base. The only play was the first. So Walling is out, but Reynolds moves to second on the hit and run. Actually, you know what? I made that mistake. Because with the ground ball was hit back to the pitcher, he gets an extra plus one. So it's really, a, so instead of four, it's a five. They do turn the double play. My bad. They turn the double play. It was grounded back to the pitcher. And Walling has a double play rating of three. Plus one is four. Plus one is five. Because the pitcher automatically gets an extra one. So that would have made it a six and then a seven. So seven minus two is a five. I rolled a five. That is a double play, two out. That is a double play, and the inning is, it's two outs. My bad. That is a one, that is a one, six, three. Good thing I checked it. Here's Jose Cruz, or are two outs instead. Cruz is one for one. Sports Time Machine joins us here at the Astrodome. Yeah, I know. That's how he was rated, and I'm not going to argue with the ratings he gives them. He rates, Chris rates these players somehow due to the system. Remember, it's not how you rate the players. You got to make sure you rate them according to the system. I don't know. I, I don't know, but that's what he did. So I'm not going to argue with his ratings, and I'm not going to change his ratings. I may make some house rules, but I'm not going to change actual ratings of a player. Whitson will pitch. 3-2, strikeout, 7, got him, struck out Cruz. And the inning is over. That's strikeout number 3 for Whitson. So no runs and a hit for the Astros. After 3, 3-1 three to one Strohs in this very pivotal game 4. We go to the top of the fourth inning. Here is Ken Griffey leading off for the Yankees. Yankees must win to tie this series up. If the Yankees do win this game, we are definitely heading back to the Bronx for a game six. Astros win this game. They can clinch the series tomorrow night. Heathcock will pitch to Griffey, and that is Suedice. I'll re-roll. Griffey is 0 for 1. 3 5. And against the lefty, that's an automatic out. It's a star 3 and a ground out to third. Out number 1. And here's Donnie Baseball. Manningly 0 for 1. Heathcock will deal. And that's a 3 2. That's a blank. Mattingly will swing, 3-4, it's a star one, and he grounds it to second. Two outs. And now Dave Winfield. Winfield 0 for 1. Heathcock will pitch, 5-2, that's a blank. Winfield will swing away, 3-3, three, three, and that's a ground ball to third. Garner will get that one, he'll throw over to first. And another 1-2-3 inning for Heathcock. Heathcock continuing to pitch well in this postseason. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Here's Jerry Mumphrey. Mumphrey hit a home run his last time up here. Fans here at the Astrodome giving him a nice ovation. Whitson will pitch. And that's a 6-4. That's a blank. Mumphrey swings 2-4. And that's a ground out to third. Nice play by Robertson. One away, and here is Kevin Bass. Bass reached on an error his last time up. 
Whitson looking in, and now the pitch. 2-3, range play. Bass will swing, 3-6. That's a fly ball to right field. That ball is at the windfield. His range is a 5. He's got it with no problem at all. Out number 2. That is a 1, and he makes that with his eyes closed. And now Mark Bailey. Bailey is 0 for 1. Whitson trying to have a good inning here. Pitch on the way. 5-5. Five, five. Against the lefty, that's a blank. Bailey's a switch hitter left. Bailey will swing. 3-1. And that's a straight away fly ball center field. Henderson puts that away. And the side is retired. After four, still 3-1 Astros. Inning number five. Here's Andre Robertson. Robertson is one for one. He hit a home run in the second inning to give the Yankees a run. Heathcock looking on here. He knows he's got to be careful to deal with Robertson this time as Robertson did get that big blast. Heathcock with the pitch, 4-4 four, four against the right. He had to strike out. The 15 is high. Robertson will swing 6-3, and he grounds it to short. One down. And now here's Ron Hassey. Hassey is 0-for-1, popped out to second his first time up. Heathcock will pitch 6-3, strikeout, 17 is high. Hassey will swing the bat 6-4, and he flies out to center. Two away. And now the batter is Randolph. Randolph 0 for 1. Heathcock looking in. Randolph ready to deal. And that's a 6-3 again. Strike out that 20 out of the park. Randolph will swing. 4-6. It's a base hit to right field. Randolph keeps the inning alive with a single to right. Randolph will trot down to first, and here's Bobby Meacham. Meacham 0 for 1. Infield is normal. There are two outs. They will check to see if a strat is on, and no. Randolph on at first. Meacham ready to swing. Heathcock will deal. 4-6. Home run chance against the left, against the righty. Meacham is a 1. That is a two. He just misses a homer by one. Holy cow, can it get that close? Meacham misses a homer, but he does get to swing. Five, six, and he lines it to third to end the inning. Oh, Meacham was one away from getting it and tying this game up. No runs on a hit. We are halfway through it. Three to one, Astros. Phil Garner leads off for Houston. He is 0 for 1. Three to one, Astros. Lead the series two games to one. Yankees know they really need to win this game. Whitson's pitch. One, two. That's a blank. He's not tired. Garner will swing. One, six. Base hit. Pass short. Single for Garner. He'll go to first. Garner continues to hit the ball well. And that will bring up the pitcher, Jeff Heathcock. I will automatically call for the bunt, but I will see if the strat calls for it anyway and that is a 20 but Whitson has nothing on has no pickoff chance but I will call for an automatic bunt for the pitcher the corners are in so we will have a bunt pitch on the way 2-6 strikeout that is a 12 and on a bunt you take the strikeout rating and divide it by half that makes that a 17 
the 12 is good enough, and Heathcock goes down. The Doesn't even get the butt off. That's a strikeout. Strikeout number four for Whitson, one man down. And now the batter is Doran. Doran 0 for 2. Now the infield is halfway. Checking on the strat. A 14, nothing happening. Whitson will pitch to Doran. And that's a 5-4 possible error. Doran will swing for three. That's a fly ball to left field. That's it to Griffey. His error rating is an 11. That's a 14. He will make the catch out number two. Nice play by Griffey as he holds on to that one. And now here's Craig Reynolds. Garner on it first. Checking on a strat. That is a 20. Nothing happening. Whitson has no pickoff chances. Whitson will pitch. 6-4. That's a blank. Reynolds swings. 5-2. He grounds it to second. Randolph's got it. Throws to first. Side retire. So the leadoff base hit goes for not. They do get a hit. After five, Astros still leading 3-1. Timeout on the field. Need a drink. Top of the sixth inning, Jeff Heathcock still has a good amount of batters he can face. Although they're about, although he's about to go through this time of the or, the uh, through the order. Top of the sixth, Whitson due to lead off, and let me see, he can pitch to twenty four batters for being tiring. And I'm going to take Whitson out. So the Yankees are going to go are going to take Ed Whitson out of the game, and they're going to go bring in a pinch hitter. And they're going to go with Don Baylor, as Whitson will be done. So he will not bat. He will not bat enough. He will not bat a second time. He only pitches the twenty-four batters. He's very close to that. So I'm going to go ahead and yank him. So here's Don Baylor. He'll pinch hit for the Yankees against Heathcock. The Yankees are going to go to the bullpen starting here at the sixth inning. Here's the pitch to Baylor, and that is a 2-5, and that's a strikeout. The six is good. He got him. That is strikeout number two for Heathcock tonight. One away, and now the batter is Ricky Henderson. Henderson is 0 for 2. Heathcock ready to deal. And that's a 5-1 against the righty strikeout. The 18 is high. Henderson swings. 1-4. Star 5. He flies out to center. Henderson now 0 for 3. Two outs. And now Griffey. Griffey is 0 for 2. Heathcock looking on. Here it comes. 6-3, strikeout, 5, got him, struck out Griffey, side retired, strikeout number 3 for Heathcock, and another 1-2-3 inning, go the Yankees. Astro pitching, doing the job, we go to the bottom of the 6th. Two lefties and a switch hitter coming up, 
However, Denny Walling actually hits right, hits lefties better. So I think the Yankees are going to bring in a right-hander, and they're going to come out with Mike Armstrong. Mike Armstrong will come out to pitch to Denny Walling here, starting the bottom of the sixth. Tribe fan joins us here at the Astrodome. Armstrong ready to deal. And that's a one-two. And it's a strikeout plus. And Walling, that's not going to get him. That 18's going to be too high. Walling will swing 6-6, six, six, and he flies out to center. So Wallen now 0 for 3 after that one. And now here's Jose Cruz. Cruz is 1 for 2, singled in the first. Armstrong ready to pitch. 3-2. Hit by pitch. That 15 is high. Cruz will swing. 1-6. And that's going to be a base hit pass first. Single for Cruz. That is a base hit, and Cruz has his second hit of the game. He'll hold there. And he will now bring up Jerry Mumphrey. Mumphrey has a home run today. He has a two-run homer. He is one for two. The infield is halfway. We'll check the strat, see if anything happening. Uh, a five or lower, and that is a five. Possible hit and run from Mumphrey if they want to do it. And Cruz, a very good chance to steal in case. <sighs> Hit and run is available. One out. No, no. I'll let Mumphrey swing away. Cruz will hold, and we'll do a regular normal swing. Armstrong the pitch. 5-5. Five, five. That's an automatic out. It's going to be a star four and a fly out to right. Out number two. So it wouldn't have mattered anyway if I even I did call the hit and run. So now two outs, and here's Kevin Bass. Cruz on, checking on the strat. That's a one. Cruz may try to steal here. Cruz has got a 15 stolen base, nothing from Armstrong, and Hassey a plus one. They're going to send Cruz. A one to 16, Cruz steals second. And he's safe. Gets under the tag with a 13. And Cruz steals second base. And that's not a bad idea to put a runner in scoring position. Now we'll see if Cruz can see if anything else happens on the strat. No. So Cruz steals second base. He is now there. Bass is 0 for 1. Reached on an error in the first. Flew out last time up. Cruz on at second. A base hit could score him. Pitch from Armstrong. 3-1. Wild pitch. That 15. Possible pass ball. Hassey has a pass ball rating of 1. Does he stop it? No, he does not. It gets to the backstop, and Cruz will go to third. A pass ball on Ron Hassey, as he does not make that play. Armstrong throws a good pitch, but Hassey makes the error there. And that is a big pass ball. Cruz now on at third. A base hit definitely scores him with two outs. And they're going to pitch the pass. I will check to see if anything on the strat. No. Armstrong will pitch. And that's a 4-4. That's a blank. He's not tired. Bass will swing. 5-3. Star 6. He flies out to right. And that will end the inning. No runs and a hit for the Astros. And a stolen base. After 6. Still 3-1 Strohs. We go to the top of the seventh. Donnie Baseball leads off. Jeff Heathcock has a few batters left he can face before tiring. He's due to bat third in the bottom of the seventh inning, so I think the Astros will try to let him pitch. Mattingly leads off. He is 0 for 2. 
the top hat, the top four of the ba the batting order today for the Yankees has just not cut it. Here's Heathcock's pitch. One three range play. Mattingly will swing five four. That's a double to left field, but it's a range play. The ball is hit to Bass. His range is a four. Does he take a double away from Donnie Baseball? Yes, he does. What a catch by Bass. Takes away a leadoff double. One out. Kevin Bass, range of a four, and he makes it on a four. One down. What a play by Bass. And the Astrodome crowd give him a cheer. Here's Dave Winfield. Winfield 0 for 2. Heathcock with the pitch. And that's a 3-3. Against the righty, it's a blank. Winfield will swing 2-6. That's a base hit to pass third, and that will be a single for Winfield. Winfield will hold it first. And now the batter is Andre Robertson. Robertson is one for two, hit a home run in this game. Winfield is there. The infield is halfway, still rolling a strat. Winfield, a good chance to steal. He needs a two or a, needs a four or lower. That 13 is negative. Heathcock will pitch to Robertson. Can Robertson come through with a key hit here for the Bronx Bombers? Heathcock, 6'3", strikeout, 18 is high. Robertson will swing. 1-3, fly ball to left field, out number two. Bass is there for that one, two down. And now here's Ron Hassey. Hassey is 0 for 2. Infield is normal. Checking the strat, nothing happening there. Heathcock looking on, wants to finish this game well for the Astros. He's due to bat third. This will be his last inning. Heathcock will pitch. 2-6. That's at the park. Astrodome will take it there. 1-5, and it's a fly ball to left field again. And Bass is going to get there and make the catch. Side retired. Kevin Bass makes all three putouts. We are at the seventh inning stretch. Astros lead three to one. Sing your take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back. I now have a special two. I have two announcements to make, by the way, at RJL 518. Uh, first announcement, of course, tomorrow night will be game five of this World Series, the Yankees and the Astros. It'll be a rematch of game one. Uh, Ron Guidry going up against Mike Scott, no matter what. So tomorrow night, game five, the Yankees are down here three to one. Can they tie this series up? Or will the Astros try to go ahead and clinch it tomorrow night? But I also have a special announcement, by the way. My days of morning baseball or morning streams have pretty much come to an end. Starting Wednesday, for the first time in a year, I have been hired. I, have been, I now have a job once again, people. I've been out of work for a year. Since March of 2020, I just got hired this morning. And I will be heading to work, working for a place down here near me, uh, starting Wednesdays. So there'll be no more morning streams. I will still stream at night. I guarantee you that. But uh, I am now, I am once again a working individual. 
so I am no longer unemployed. And it only took a year for this to go away, but I had a feeling it would. So I got hired. So no more morning. There will still be morning streams. Uh, the job works 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, and some Saturdays. So, of course, on a Sunday, I'll still have two streams during the day if necessary, depending on what we're doing. So I am no longer unemployed. I am back to work starting Wednesday. I thought I'd let you guys know, but I will still continue streaming. Don't worry about that, guys. My baseball is not going away. We got lots more to do. We have another season coming up. I have not tallied any votes at all. If you've not voted in the uh, comments of, um, if you've not voted in the comments in that selection video, please do. Um, if you want to vote in the Facebook profile, you can do that as well. So please, everyone, don't forget to vote. As of course, the, my, the voting could end tomorrow night, depending what happens right now. Bleacher Bums Gaming and G Puck Salvador America all join us here at the Astrodome. So, yes, I am once again a working man. And trust me, I am much relieved to be working again. Meanwhile, let's get back to this game. Top bottom of the seventh inning, three to one Astros. Mark Bailey is the leadoff batter, and we'll see a new pitcher for the Yankees. As Mike Armstrong has done his job, they're going to bring in a righty, and they're going to go with Rich Bordy. Bordy will come in and pitch for the Yankees. He is the third Yankee pitcher. Mark Bailey will bat. Three to one Astros, bottom of the seventh. Astros lead the series two games to one. Bordy will pitch. 4-4, four, four, that's a blank. Bailey will swing 6-1, and that's a ground ball to third. Out number one. Whitson actually did, a, after giving up three runs in the first, Whitson actually did pretty well the rest of the way. Here's Phil Garner. Garner one for two. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Salvador. My best to you and your family, my friend. Forty will pitch. 6-5. That's a walk. That one is good. He walks Garner. Garner will trot down to first. And that's the first walk in this game by either team. That's the first walk. Not bad. It's bottom of the seventh inning and no walks. That's interesting. Pinch hitter coming up for Jeff Heathcock. He will be done. As they're going to go to the bench, and Heathcock did very well. He only gave up one run, so you really couldn't have asked more that from that from him. Has to be the batter with the most at-bats, and it will be Glenn Davis. Davis will pinch it against Bordy. One out, Garner on at first. The infield is halfway. We'll check the strat. Nothing happening. Bordy will pitch. That's a 2-2. Error on a grounder. Davis will swing 5-1, and that's a base hit past second base. That will be a single for Davis. There is no error on a grounder on S1 to S6. Garner's base running rating is a 4, and he will make third easily. Garner goes to third, and Davis a big base pinch hit base hit. Runners at the corners and one out. Steeler fan joins us here at the Astrodome, and I know he'll be happy to see the scoreboard and the current field status. Here's Bill Doran. Doran is 0 for 3. Yankees deciding what they want to do here. Do you want to try for two or call the infield in? The Astros are going to call the infield in. They cannot afford any more runs. They do have a chance at double play, but if it doesn't if it doesn't work, Garner will score. So they're going to call the infield in. One out, bottom of the seventh, three to one. Bordy will pitch to Doran. Am I rolling a strat? Yes, I am. That's a six. Nothing happening there. Bordy will pitch. That's a 4-3. And against the lefty switch, that's a blank. Doran will swing. That's a 1-6. Base hit the left field. Single for Doran. 
Garner comes in to score. Davis's base running rating is a one. Single to left to get to third. Minus two is a minus one. And there's no chance for Davis to make third base. He will automatically hold it second. Astros now lead it four to one. RBI single by Doran. Stadium cheers. Yay! Yankee fans groan. Ugh. Runners at first and second. RBI single by Doran. And now the batter is Reynolds. As always, I screw my, <laughs> screw my Yankees. Runners at first and second. They're going to go talk to Bordy, see if they want to pitch. He will pitch to Reynolds. Now 4-1 to one Astros here, bottom of the seven. The infield now moves halfway, try to turn two. Bordy's pit, Strath rolls a five, nothing happening. Bordy will pitch, and that's a 1-6, that's at the park. Astrodome says 4-1, that is a star two, and that is a ground ball to third. Now it's a ground to third, let's see what kind of hit, let's see where it was hit. It's a grounder to third, and that is hit in the hole. So the double play chance will go from second to first. One, zero, two, and plus one, second base, Randolph, a three. A one to three, the Yankees turn the double play. No, they do not. It's an automatic advancement. The only play was the first, so the runners advance, but there are now two outs. So runners at second and third now, and here's Denny Walling. Walling is 0 for 3 tonight. Bordy's still going to, they're going to, and they are going to pitch to him. Bordy will pitch to Walling with two outs. Yankees know they got to get out of this inning. But now down 4 to 1 to the Astros. Still checking a strat. That's a four. Nothing happening. Bordy will pitch to Walling. That's a two, four. That's a walk. The 15 is high. Walling will swing. Three, one. And against the righty, it's a double into center field for Denny Walling. Walling smacks it off the center field wall. And the Astros had blown this game open. Davis comes in to score. Doran comes in to score. Walling holds it second. Six to one Astros. Stadium cheers. Yay. Walling will hold that second, and that's going to be it for Bordy. As the Yankee bullpen really has been awful this World Series. The next batter is Jose Cruz. They're going to bring on a new right-hander to pitch to him. And now with a five-run lead, the Yankees, and just to get one out, the Yankees. The Yankees are going to bring out Neil Allen. Neil Allen, a late trade from the Cardinals in 85. So Allen becomes another pitcher for the Yankees. Walling on at second. Cruz is the batter. Two outs. Now six to one Astros. And the Astrodome here is rocking and rolling. Allen will pitch. I will, there is no more strat. And now the Yankees are in runner safe mode. Allen will pitch. 3-3. Three, three. That's at the park. Astrodome says 6-3, and that's a star three, a fly out to center, and the inning ends there. 
three runs for Houston on one, two, three hits and a walk. After seven, Astros leading six to one. Now the third straight game, the Astros have scored six runs or more. In this World Series. Since the Astros got shut out in game one for nothing, they scored 11 runs in the game in game two and nine in game three. They now have six in this one, and this game is not over yet. Top of the eighth, Willie Randolph leads off for the Yankees. Astros need a pitcher. They're going to go with a right-hander here. And they're going to start with Julio Solano. Julio Solano will pitch to Willie Randolph here, starting with top of the eighth. Dave Little joins us here at the Astrodome. Solano will pitch to Randolph. 2-5. Against the righty, that's a straight home run check. Randolph, a right against the right, he needs a three. That's a one. He got it. Pow! That one is high, deep, and gone. Willie Randolph, leadoff home run for the Yankees here in the top of the eighth. Oh, he got a hold of it and got it. Randolph smacks a home run. Solo shot for Randolph. And it is now six to two. And here's Bobby Meacham. Willie Randolph, a 15% chance to hit one out, and he did. Now 6-2, to two, back to a four-run lead. Solano will pitch to Meacham, and that's a 2-2. Two, two. That's a walk. That 10 is good. He walked him. He walks Meacham. Solano walks Meacham, and so Solano comes in, gives up a homer, and now a walk, and we'll see a pinch hitter for Neil Allen. Has to be the most at bats. However, the most at bats player is the catcher, Butch Weiniger. I usually don't like using the catcher in case something gets hurt. So the Yankees will send up Bill Sa Billy Sample to hit. Billy Sample will pinch hit for Allen. Meacham on it first. Sample at the plate. Infield is halfway, six to two. Another solo shot by two players you don't expect to see many home runs out of. Andre Robertson and, Will, and Willie Randolph. Meacham on it first. There is no strike. Solano will pitch. 6-5. Strikeout 5. Got him. Struck him out. Sample is a 5 against righties. And he got him. Big K for Solano. Out number 1. And now here's Ricky Henderson. Last night, the Yankees in the ninth inning almost came with, almost had the comeback of the century in inside pitch, but fell just a bit short. One out, still no strat. Here's Henderson. Henderson is 0 for 3. It's a 3-1 at the park. Astrodome will take it for there. 5-4. It's a grounder at the plate. It's grounded at the plate. Double play chance, double play rating two. Henderson, a righty, second base is pivot, which is Doran, no adjustment. No adjustment. And with the inf but the infield is halfway. I don't think that actually works on that. If I'm correct in the catcher, it does not. There's no ground ball double play. So it's a straight two. It's a straight two for the catcher. So a one to two, they turn the double play. 
Yes, they do. Holy cow. What a play by Bailey. Fires to second to get Meacham. Throws to first. Gets Henderson. Side retired. They needed a two and they got it. Two, six, three, double play. One run, one hit, and a walk. Bottom of the eighth, now six to two. Because the infield halfway does not matter, uh, does not matter with the catcher. If it's grounded at the catcher, there is no change in range or in anything like that. You do not use the you do not get the extra double play with the infield halfway because it's grounded at the plate. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Jerry Mumphrey, the leadoff batter. They're gonna go with a lefty against Mumphrey. The Yankees will bring out Rod Scurry, a late trade from the Pirates. In 85, Rod Scurry will pitch to Mumphrey here in the bottom of the eighth, six to two. Scurry with the pitch. Four three. That's a walk plus that 15 is good. Mumphrey will walk. Against the lefty, he has a 13, and a, and with a minus one makes it a 12, but it's a walk plus, so that actually makes that a 23. So he walks Mumphrey. Leadoff runner on for the Astros. The Astros got three gigantic insurance runs in the eighth inning last night. If it wasn't for those insurance runs, the Yankees would have tied that game. Now here's Kevin Bass. Infield halfway. Bass is 0 for 2. No strat. Pitch from Scurry. 4-5. That's a strikeout. The 10, that's high. Bass will swing. 3-5. A line out to first, the third base. Do they get Mumphrey? They need a 1. No, Mumphrey gets back. So a line out to third, but, they, but Mumphrey, there's no throw, so Mumphrey gets back easily. That's the first out. Here's Bailey. Bailey is 0-3 for 3 tonight. Infield still halfway. And we're going to see a new pitcher as Scurry's going to come out of the game now. And the Yankees are going to bring in a right-hander. And they will go with Brian Fisher. Bailey hits right. He's worse. Yankees trying to play a little chess to try to keep this a four-run lead. Brian Fisher will now pitch to Bailey. Infield still halfway. Here's the pitch. And that's a 4-2. Strikeout 11. Got him. Struck him out. Nice strikeout by Fisher to make the play. Two down. And now Phil Garner. Garner having a good night. One for two, and he walked. Now two outs. The infield is normal. Mumphrey on it first. Fisher ready to deal. Pitch from Fisher. 5-2. Range play at the park. Astrodome says 2-3. That is a base hit to center field. But it is a range play, though it's a single plus. Henderson's range is a 5. He needs to get this. He will with a 1. Not a problem. And he takes a single away from Phil Garner in center. And the side is retired. So it goes as a fly out to center. So nothing there for the Astros except the walk. Eight innings in the books. Astros leading six to two. Will we see some ninth inning magic? We saw a little bit of it last night. It just kind of ran out on the Yankees. But top of the ninth, the Yankees scored five runs in the top of the ninth inning last night. The Yankees are four runs back here in, the, in, in this game. Ken Griffey is the batter. Let's see who the Astros want to pitch. So 
Solano's going to come out. It's a 4-1 lead. It's not a save situation. But they're not going to take any chances, and they're going to go with Dave Smith. Smith has had an excellent postseason. He has seven saves. This is not a save situation, though, although it could become one. So Dave Smith coming out to pitch to Griffey. Smith has seven saves in this postseason. That's how good the Astros have been. Two out. No, nobody out. Nobody out. Top of the ninth. Here we go. Smith's first pitch. 6-4. That's a blank. Griffey will swing. 5-5. Five, five, and he grounds it to short. Picked up there by Reynolds. Throws to first. Out number one. One down. And now the batter is Donnie Baseball. Mattingly, 0 for 3. Smith will pitch to Mattingly. 5-6. Wild pitch. Do it again. 1-2. That's a range play. Mattingly will swing. 4-5. It's a ground ball to second base. The ball is hit to Bill Doran. His range is a 4. Does he make it? Yes, he does. Up with it is Doran. Fires to first. Out number two. And now the batter is Dave Winfield. Winfield is one for three. Smith. Astros one out away from taking a three games to one lead. It'll be Gidry versus Scott tomorrow night. Gidry shut the Astros out in game one. Scott did not look good. He has a chance of redemption. Smith will pitch. 3-6 against a righty. Strikeout five. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's your game. Astros win it tonight. 6-2. to They now lead the series three games to one. One, two, three, go the Yankees. The Astros one win away from winning it all. And I'm sure if the Astros do finish this off, I'm sure a Steeler fan will finally forgive Bill Swift. Final line score coming up. For the Astros, six runs on nine hits and no errors. For the Yankees, two runs on four hits and one error. Jeff Heathcock gets the win. He goes to 2-0 and in the postseason. Ed Whitson takes the loss. That's his first loss of the postseason. He falls to 2-1. and There is no save for Smith, but he does get credit for a close in a way. The Astros are one win away. Are one win are one win away from winning the 1985 World Championship. Yeah, Steeler fan. Let me ask you a question, Steeler fan. Is it worth Bill Swift no hitting the Astros in my 94 season to have the Astros win it here in 85? <laughs> but there's still one more game left to play. Tomorrow night's game is now elimination, and we all know that is the hardest game to win. It'll be Ron Guidry taking on Mike Scott tomorrow night. Game five of this World Series. Astros win. It is over. Yankees win. We go back to the Bronx for game six. So who knows what can happen? Exciting is what I call it, and we got lots more to go. We got at least one more game coming up. 
as the Astros now take a three games to one lead in this series. Dave Little, Steeler fan, Philip Reynolds, Bleacher Bums Gaming, G Puck, Sports Time, Sp Sports Time Machine, Tribe Fan 879, Salvador America, Bob's Tabletop Sports, Philip Reynolds. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Please leave a like on your way out through the turnstiles. Subscribe if you've not done so. Remember, if you've not placed your vote, put it in the please put it in the comments of the selection video cuz tomorrow the voting might end. It will only end until the World Series is over. So, put your vote in there to see what the next season will start and I've already told you that will start April 5th. And of course, I have a new job starting on Wednesday, so there'll be no more games in the morning at least uh during um Monday through Friday, and possibly once in a while Saturday, as I get back to work. Uh, Robert, I get back to work. RJL518 cheers. Yay! <laughs> stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart, stay strong. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. Astros over the Yankees, 6-2. to two. Now lead the series three games to one. Will they end, will they win it all tomorrow night? Gotta tune in and find out. Have a good night. Take care.